What's going on guys, it's your boy Hero and today we're going to be going over 5 Fortnite tips that the pros don't tell you. Now before we begin, I do have to say that I am not a pro at this game, but I am aspiring to be one. In the process of becoming better, one must study his peers and contemporaries to learn everything he can. So in the case of Fortnite, I have spent hours studying the strategies and thought processes of the top players of the game. And I've also become a much better player for doing so, so I'm sure this video will help you do the same. But enough about me, by the way, follow me on Twitch. But enough about me, let's start with tip number one. Keybinds. Keybinds are key to this game. If you're like me, you probably use the scroll wheel to go from slot to slot. I used to do that. This is a terrible idea though, because in every game, every millisecond counts. And while you're scrolling up and down trying to build some stairs, before you know it, there's gonna be a shotgun in your fucking face. So just go to the settings menu and set key binds for every single key as shown here. If you do this, you won't need a key for swapping from weapons to building materials, and you won't need to use the scroll wheel. Every good player I know uses hotkeys over scroll wheels, but they all use different hotkeys. These are my hotkeys, but set them to whatever you like. Also, remove the option to scroll the wheel to help break the habit. It may be hard to get used to these changes, but once you do, you will be a much better player for it. Tip number two is gonna be sensitivity. Now sensitivity in this game or any game can be a touchy subject. Everyone has their own play style, right? However, the general consensus for Fortnite is to turn that shit down. The lower your sensitivity is, the more accurate your mouse will be when aiming shots. What I recommend doing is setting your sensitivity very low, dropping in a game, and then testing said sensitivity, raising it incrementally until the mouse moves quickly but smoothly. The mouse moving smoothly is far more important than it moving quickly, but if it does move too slow, don't be afraid to turn it up a bit. Once you've gotten used to your sensitivity, we can go to tip three, practicing. Now, of course you can get practice in the games and that's going to be the best practice for you. The only problem with that is that this is a battle royale game and well, if you land too close to other players, you might get blown up. If you land too far away, you might be running for hours and hours without a single player to shoot at. That's not gonna help you, but what will help you is practicing your tracking. Tracking is your ability to keep your reticule on a target. In order to practice this, find a tree or a wheel or a light to focus on, take aim at it, and move around while your reticule is on it. This will train your muscle memory to know how much your hand needs to move to keep a target in place. Also, to take it a step further, you can do this in the pregame lobby with players who move around a lot. This training will be closer to a real situation. Unfortunately, the pregame lobby is usually very short-lived. Tip number four, wear headphones. I'm not sure if people know this, but sound in Fortnite can be almost as important as your vision. I can't tell you how many times I was able to save my life just by listening. Someone could be hiding in the basement of the house you're in, someone could be on your roof, someone could be flying in on a glider, someone could snipe you and miss and you need to know what direction it came from. Uh, you get the idea. Wear headphones if you wanna take this game seriously. Tip five, and the most important tip, build faster and build better. A lot of people will tell you to build, 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 but they don't explain when or how or why to do so. There are only two times a player ever builds, one, when he wants to get somewhere, or two, when he wants to get some cover. So there's aggressive building and defensive building. Typically, when you build defensively, it's at end game when everyone else has forts, or it's when you're being shot at. If you're getting shot and you have no idea where it's coming from, you need to be quick and build walls all around you and then figure out where the shots are coming from. If you know where it's coming from, you can build like this, just make sure you do so in layers. Now let's say you're building aggressively. Now the first priority to aggressive building is altitude. The player who has the high ground always has the advantage. If you watched Revenge of the Sith, you would know this. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. High ground. Make sure you are always trying to get above your opponent and if someone does get above you, take appropriate measures to ensure your survival until you can readjust, even if that means running away. 
the biggest tip I can give is never, and I mean never, give up the high ground once you get it. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten the best of my opponent and I just gave it all up because I wanted to chase them down. Don't do that. Learn from Obi-Wan, wait till he comes for you and let him have your lightsaber. Yeah, no homo. When it comes to building materials, wood is better for when you're being shot at because it builds the most health fastest. Brick is better for when you have time to build layers but are still in the fight and metal is best for when you have time to fully let the metal grow which is usually when you are an in game or just building a fort when there's no one shooting you at the time. And that's it guys those are the five tips that the pros don't tell you if you enjoyed the video please hit me with a like and share the video with your friends also subscribe for more fortnite videos it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace